Hello! How the fudge you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here bringing you another episode of Factions Let's Play Guys today. Wow, I got a text message at the worst possible time. Today, we are going to do, or we're going to take a step back and we're actually going to prepare for some PvP fights. And uh, since this new base isn't like fully completed yet, we haven't really gotten uh, the chance to make any potions. Um, I've been going into PvP battles without any potions recently. And I thought that it was time to do sort of like a tutorial slash, you know, make some potions for my faction. And if you guys do notice right here, we have a little potion room. Um, I think Snicks made, we have a little potion brewing stand here. It's not really automatic, but it gets the job done. So it's, it's really, really nice. And we, we've got our little things, our, our stuffs ready to be made. So we can start making potions here, honestly. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to actually just do the, just that and I want to make a double chest of strength two potions and a double chest of uh, speed two potions so I'm gonna go ahead and teach you guys how to do that and I think I have kit bedrock four alright so kit bedrock four gives me the tools that I need in order to uh, make all these potions and I'm actually just gonna kind of organize a chest room over here I haven't really um I haven't really gotten into any of this organizational stuff when it comes to potion brewing. So we're going to go ahead and fix up our little potion brewing room here. Um, as you guys can see, they've kind of already started the process of uh, organizing everything. And I'm kind of just going to help along and uh, organize the stuff here. So um, the basics of brewing. You guys obviously need a brewing stand. And in order to make a brewing stand, you need a blaze rod and then three cobblestone. I'll show you guys exactly what I mean by that. I'll go to warp shop. And then I'll also buy some uh, brewing supplies over here while I am at it. And then so what you're going to need is um, let me buy some glass for glass bottles later. And then so to make your uh, brewing stand, you're going to need a where did it go? They don't even have it here. All right, you're going to need a blaze rod and then three cobblestone. So how you're going to place it is if you guys pretend that this uh, blaze powder that I have is a blaze rod, all you have to do in a crafting table is uh, you got to put the cobblestone in the bottom layer like this and then your blaze powder just goes or your blaze rod goes right there and it'll make a brewing stand but if you guys do play on Archon factions I think we sell brewing stands right here for only 200 which is really really cheap so you guys can buy as many as you need you guys can probably start to come up with mechanisms to have your own uh, own little breweries or automatic breweries at your uh, at your house but what we're gonna do and what we're gonna make today is that we need sugar cane and uh, we need blaze powder. So what we're going to be making is obviously speed potions and uh, strength 2 potions. Speed 2 and strength 2. So what you need for strength 2, you're going to need blaze powder and you're going to need nether warts. And then for the speed 2, you're going to need sugar cane and um, nether wart and then also glowstone dust. So we're kind of just going to go ahead. Just a quick little tutorial. It's not even, it's not really a hard, like, you know, brewing isn't. Um, it's not a hard thing to learn. It's just one of those things where after you've done it for a while, it's very, very, very easy to do. So we're going to go ahead and uh, make some glass bottles first. So how you do that is you just take the glass blocks and put it into like a V-shaped triangle shaped thingy here. And then there we go. You have some glass bottles. So we have a stack of glass bottles right now. And then we're going to go ahead and make that just any water stream. I use this water stream right here just because it's the easiest. Oops. And I'll go ahead and fill up my entire inventory with glass bottles. And then, so we're, we're just preparing ourselves for PvP fights right now. So I don't really have a chest filled with speed 2 and strength 2. So I kind of want to finish that, uh, that stuff up. So what you're going to do first, first step is you're going to put water bottles. I forgot to grab another warts. So let me do that really quickly. Do, 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 do. So water bottles in there. And then uh, next step is you're going to add uh, nether wart. So you're going to do that, and I kind of do this all in the same time, so they're kind of brewing at the same time. So all you got to do is click it and place, click it in place, put three bottles and three nether warts like so, and you kind of just repeat this process throughout your entire your entire brewery farm. It's not hard, it's very, very simple, and once you guys learn the basics of brewing, you literally can make almost any potion. So these ones are ready. Oh wait, I could put uh, nether wart in here. I could make a whole row. So I'll brew a whole entire row here of uh, strength two potions and then on this side I'll brew an entire row of speed two potions but we'll do that afterwards so then after the nether wart runs through 
you're obviously going to have, um, it's going to turn into a different type of potion. And the first type of potion that it turns into is this awkward potion. So there's no effects on it. And the next step that you guys would have to do to add into this awkward potion is add in the material that you want. So we're going to be making, as I said, we're going to be making strength potions first. So you need a blaze powder in order to make a strength potion. So a strength potion, you just add that into there. It'll start brewing and you kind of just repeat this once again with that entire process that we were just doing. And um, I think MCMMO actually updated because you guys can see to the right side of my screen here. There's I have an alchemy level and I'm not really sure what that what, what that's about. If you guys want to learn more about that and if you guys want me to kind of do a small tutorial on that, leave it in the comment sections below and I can look up more information on it because I honestly don't know uh, too much about what um, alchemy is right now and all the effects that it does. So leave it in the comment sections below if you guys want me to do a detailed um, tutorial on alchemy. And then, so here we go, this blaze powder is almost done. And then once this blaze powder is added into the awkward potion, it's going to turn into a strength potion. So now you have two choices. You have, you can either make a strength one potion, or you can make a strength two potion. So then, if you want to just keep it strength one, but have it for a longer duration, you're going to add a redstone. So that redstone will make it so that your potion lasts for 8 minutes instead of 3. But I don't want it to last for 8 minutes. I actually want the Strength 2 potion, which gives 260% attack damage a bonus. So what you're going to add instead is a Glowstone Dust. So we're going to go ahead and add Glowstone Dust to this entire uh, mechanism assembly here. And we'll be able to basically just kind of make our Strength 2 potions. It's very, very simple to make potions. If you have a, a really, really long layout of uh, potions like I do here, it's really really easy to kind of just go through the entire thing and uh very very simple to just kind of make as many potions as you want or you know just kind of to if you ever need emergency potions while you're pvping it's very very simple to uh just quickly make that stuff so i'm gonna go ahead while that's finally finishing brewing i'm gonna go ahead and make these water bottles here really quickly and then we're gonna head on back up and then i'll put these water bottles while those are still brewing i'll put these water bottles in this row so we can go ahead and get started on the other thing so let's go ahead and just put three water bottles. Make sure when you guys are brewing also, keep it, always have three water bottles in there. It, it makes it so that you're making the most amount of potions that you can. And uh, it saves you some time in the, at the end of the day. So you guys might as well just do it. So here we go. Our strength two potion should be done. There we go. Strength two. So the thing about having a level two potion is it lasts half the time of a normal potion. So if you guys read very carefully right here, the strength two will only last for a minute and 30 seconds. But there's a 260% attack bonus and that is that literally makes the difference between the strength two and um the strength two and the strength one because if you have if you're pvping with your friends and you have like three friends maybe including yourself which have strength two and the other person is eating a god apple if the person doesn't god apple fast enough it will literally kill them before they could even realize that their god timer or their god apple timer has run out so you guys keep that in mind if you're pvping with a big group of people try to always carry strength two if you guys want quick ko's but if you guys want to kind of uh drag the fight out and kind of try to make it try to outlast the other person you guys are going to want to add redstone obviously to the to the mixture and that'll make it so that you have a strength one potion which is the 130 percent damage bonus but it lasts for a total of eight minutes and that's eight minutes of pure combat that you guys can literally just keep smacking each other away and then hopefully you guys come out on top so now what we're going to be making next is obviously the uh, speed 2 potion, which makes you super, super fast, like flash. So uh, same thing. You start out basically the same exact thing, water bottle, and then you add another wart. Very, very simple. Potion brewing is probably one of the easiest things you guys can learn. And it really, if you're into PvP, it's like it's like a necessity. If you don't go into potions, or if you don't go into PvP without any potions, you're already at a disadvantage. And, uh, you know, if you want to take the time, just take 5-10 minutes just to brew up a couple potions before you jump down into warp main PvP. Like, you are already giving yourself an advantage over the people who are too lazy to potion brew. So that's very, very simple. Very, very nice. So we're going to go ahead and wait for these to brew. And the next ingredient that you're going to need in order to make a speed 2 potion is a um, sugar. And in order to get sugar, all you got to do is get some sugar cane, put it in your crafting bench, and it just turns into sugar like that. Very, very simple. Very, very easy. And then we can go ahead and put um, the extras in here. So, like, my faction, like, basically 
organized almost everything over here so we have a lot of uh from our kits as well we have a lot of stuff that are just ready to brew at a moment's notice because we do pvp a lot insanity pvp is a lot and uh so do i now and then whenever i do have the time i just jump into warp main pvp try to get some heads and we haven't even started our head wall yet which we might be doing very soon we'll, we'll kind of see so now these are done you get an awkward potion again and then all you have to do next is add the sugar and that'll turn into a speed one potion so we're going to go ahead and add that sugar. Do, 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 do. Add in that sugar. Look at Road Rage. Road Rage is just running through the faction base right now. I wonder what he's doing. So add that sugar, and that is like one of the final ingredients. And then you're going to also add another either glowstone or redstone. And we'll explain that once again just to kind of make it clear for you guys who kind of missed it the first time. But I'm actually going to do another tutorial here on a different potion that I do kind of normally bring to PvP. It's like a, for emergency situations. And um, it's going to be the uh, health two potions. So I haven't, I haven't made any here. And, but these health two potions, I'm going to teach you guys how to brew that as well. So I'm going to go ahead and prepare uh, the stands over here while the other side over there is brewing. So we'll go ahead and put these in here, fill up this row, and then we'll go ahead and teach you guys how to make some instant health splash potions for, for those moments where you're kind of panicking and you're about to die and you don't have any more god apples. And you're kind of just trying to get away from the opposition and we'll teach you guys how to make some... Uh, health potions and I do bring health potions frequently I just uh, haven't been really doing it um, as of late because I do have a lot of god apples but if you're on the if you're on the lower end of the socio-economic scale in a factions world health potions are the way to go so next step all right you guys have the speed potion here as you guys can see there's three minutes and it's only 20 percent speed but we're gonna go ahead and make this speed two once again but if you guys do want the speed bonus to last for eight minutes you're obviously gonna add redstone but since i want the speed two where it's 40 percent speed we're gonna go ahead and just like the strength potion we're gonna go ahead and add this glowstone uh dust so we're almost ready to pvp and then once this glowstone dust is ready, we're going to go ahead and try to, uh, you know, prepare the chest, prepare some PvP. And maybe in the next episode, we'll have some PvP fights, maybe another raid. Leave it in the comment sections below. What do you guys want to watch in the next video? Do you guys want to watch a PvP fight or do you guys want to watch a sexy raid? I've got a one raid planned, one raid saved. I think it's a vault, hopefully. And then uh, after that, we'll kind of just, I'll kind of see and try to get the feedback of what you guys want to see. And we'll go ahead and record that for you guys when we have the time. So we're going to go ahead and prepare this row over here once again with nether warts. And uh, if you guys haven't noticed already, almost all potions use nether warts to begin with. So, I mean, if you uh, if you have water bottles and then you add a nether wart, that's already, you're already one step ahead of the game. And you're, you're already on your way into becoming a potion brewery master so we're gonna go ahead and make sure that <clears throat> this is all filled so that's all brewing in there and then if we take a peek here it looks like our speed two potions are done just like the strength two potion guys this is only for a minute and a half but there's a 40 percent speed and if you guys haven't eaten uh or if you guys haven't drunk a speed speed two potion i'm running super fast compared to uh, to just normal you got 40 percent speed so you're running super fast you can start chasing down people and just like and just kill everybody so very very good it's very it's essential in order to pvp especially if uh if you're playing the chasing game and people are trying to get away from you you guys are going to want that added speed in order to chase them down so then they don't ender pearl away so just a lot of small tips kind of in this video a lot of small tips pvping uh tips in order to kind of not let your enemy escape and also i mean you could also use this defensively you can have a straight a speed two potion use that speed two potion and if you're obviously if your opponent doesn't have a speed two you can get away from them very easily that way so i have an extra three here uh is this speed two this is normal excuse me this is normal speed this is normal speed as well and i can actually just take this and i'm, I'm gonna put them back in here and I'm going to transform these into uh, the speed one for eight minutes. So I'm, I want some emergency speed one in order in case I do need or I, I have like a long fight and I want an, an eight minute potion so that I don't have to kind of watch my potion levels. So I'm going to have a couple of these uh, speed one potions just just to make sure that I can get away if I ever if that situation ever arises. I have some speed one stuff. So there we go. Uh, all right. So this should be done by now. We got an awkward potion again, and in order to make 
the healing potion, there's uh, two extra ingredients that you need. So you're going to need glycerin melon, which I have right here. Let's put some of this stuff away. Um, this goes down here, and my blaze powder goes right here. All right, so you're going to add glycerin melon as your first step, and this will make it into a healing potion. So we're going to add this straight up. Boom. Just add glycerin melon all into all of these pots. It's very simple, as you guys can see, to, to even uh, level up your brewery or level up your alchemy, whatever you guys want to call it. And on the MCMMO server, I'm assuming, I haven't looked into it yet, but I'm assuming that the alchemy skill like makes it so that you brew a lot faster, which is actually pretty cool. So like if I, I, I just reached level 60 and I was level 1 today, so I might spend or might, I might go buy some MCMMO points to spend on that because it looks like it's a really, really really cool skill let's do slash alchemy let's see what it says uh locked until 100 percent. so it's like you can make i guess different types of um i guess you can make different types of potions with the with the new alchemy skill so i'll have to look into that really I've, i haven't looked into that yet and i might do so very very soon if if it's uh if it proves to be very very beneficial to pvping all right guys so here we go we have a potion of healing and now, since we want it to obviously heal the most, we're going to have the Potion of Healing and we're going to add a Glowstone Dust to it. Glowstone Dust is... Uh, so the difference... I'm not sure if I explained this in the earlier potions. The difference between a Glowstone Dust and a Redstone Dust... A Redstone Dust makes it so that it lasts longer. The effect lasts longer. And the Glowstone Dust makes it so that the effect is more potent, which means that it makes it stronger. <laughs> oh, ooh, excuse me. had a sneeze right there. So yeah, so as I said, redstone makes it longer, glowstone makes it more potent or mo makes it more stronger. So what, whatever type of effect you're going to go for, you're going to kind of try to just go along with either redstone or glowstone depending on, just basically depending on what you kind of need. So just keep that in mind whenever you guys are brewing. It's very, very easy, so I, I, I do suggest that you guys uh, do that. Now, the last ingredient that we need is uh, gunpowder. Do I have gunpowder? Do I have a gunpowder chest here? Might be in raiding. Uh, no, I do not. So we're going to go ahead and go warp shop. Warp shop. And we're going to go buy a stack of gunpowder. And uh, I'll be explaining why we need gunpowder to you guys in a quick second. And we'll go ahead and buy two stacks just to make sure we have some if we ever do need it in the future. And then we'll go ahead and head on upstairs. And uh, we should be having a st instant health 2 potion. Now, the thing with this instant health 2 potion is I need to, if I'm trying to run away from somebody and I have low health, I don't want to stop to drink this potion, right? That would be a waste of time. And the solution to that is uh, to make this a splash potion. Now, in order to make a splash potion, all you have to do is add gunpowder to the mix after you've made your potion. And that'll instantly turn it into a splash potion. And then once... These are done brewing. I can go ahead and show you guys exactly what that does. And it's very, very cool. And I think it's one of the coolest things that you could do while brewing or kind of, you know, just these potion effects that, I mean, a person could like think that you're about to die. And then all of a sudden you throw a couple of potions on the ground and then you're back to full health. So it's very, very useful. Um, another useful potion that if you guys want to continue your brewing journey, you guys might want to look at how, learning how to make regeneration potions. These kind of act like these regeneration 2 potions. If you make them into splash and then hit yourself with it while you're PvPing, it kind of acts like a kind of almost like a god apple it, it heals you very very quickly very very fast and if you guys want to uh kind of go fully decked out you guys are going to want like a single type of these or maybe a couple of these all in your inventory the entire time you're pvping and it'll give you the upper hand that might eventually just save your life or get you some kills in uh in otherwise kills that you wouldn't have normally gotten so here we go this is the instant health 2 potion and it's a splash potion now and imagine somebody's chasing me and i'm about to die all you have to do is run throw it on the ground and you're healing yourself right there you see the potion effects very very simple instant health 2 potions they are a lifesaver and i used to use these so much like i used these so much when i first started pvping because i was such a noob at it and um i kind of just ran away from people and threw these on the ground and they did, they did get so mad but potions are your friend just remember guys very very quickly that's all you need to do in order to make these potions and if i take a quick peek over here these are speed eight so these are eight minute speed potions very very potent very very quick 
and very long lasting. So yeah, I'm, I just wanted to do a quick brewing episode for you guys because I haven't really shown how to brew potions in a long time. And there's a couple factions out there, especially a Brayden's faction who like value potions a lot. And I don't understand why you would value these potions a lot if you know how to make them yourself. It's very, very simple, very, very quick to make. And I suggest that you guys do it in order to survive in your pvp warfare so thank you guys for watching today's episode hopefully you guys did enjoy and as i said in the video make sure you guys hit um what's it called uh, I, f I completely forgot what i was gonna say make sure you guys hit that like button in order to support the series and if you guys haven't already that rank giveaway for the hundred dollar rank for my 10k subscriber special is going to be ending may 9th so tomorrow on friday it'll be ending on may 9th so make sure you guys check out that video and do all the directions on it the link to that will be down in the description below thank you guys for watching hopefully you learned something new i will be doing either a raid or a pvp episode in the next one leave that in the comment sections below if you guys want to do one of those episodes let me know what you guys want to watch thank you for watching and as always make sure you guys like comment and subscribe this is d field and we will see you guys later